and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 4th of August at the local media headlines today. Do you think there'll be a hose pipe ban? It's certainly looking more and more like it's a question of when rather than if, unless we get a lot of rain in the next few weeks. Southwest Water's weekly publication of reservoir data shows that both Colliford and Stythian's reservoirs are continuing to dry out at an alarming rate. If current trends continue, they'll be at dangerously low levels before the end of August. Bodmin's male footballers appear to have questions to answer after they evicted the town's women's team from their Priory Park ground, forcing the ladies to play on a much smaller youth team pitch. There are plenty of people now asking why the significance of the England women's team's performance in the recent Euro Championships hasn't reached Bodmin. Blue sharks are not normally dangerous to humans, but they can be, and my guess is that last week's minor incident off Penzance will do no harm at all to the business which offers punters the chance to swim with sharks in the wild. The state of Cornwall's health service seems to be going from bad to worse, but never mind, in four weeks' time we'll have a new Prime Minister. The BBC was among those to cover the silver medal awarded to an athlete from Cornwall at the Commonwealth Games. 22-year-old Molly Cordery performed well in the pole vault event. Pirate FM reported a fatal road traffic accident at Porth Leven. A man died at the scene. No other vehicle appears to have been involved. And finally, Cornwall Live had another picture of a holidaymaker with his car underwater. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>